Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly update where we helped you catch up with everything that had happened in the GameFi community for the last 7 days in just 10 minutes to stay updated. I am your host Alex from GameFi Army and this week's weekly update will cover some notable news in June. So sit up and let's review what this week got to offer. Let's start off this weekly update with a new exciting update from one of the largest names in the GameFi industry, Axie Infinity. Good news for Axie's players and investors. The Ronin Bridge tied to Axie Infinity is backed up with a new design after Sky Mavis introduced a circuit breaker system and daily withdrawal limits. Sky Mavis, developers of the popular play to earn game Axie Infinity, have announced that the Ronin Bridge is back online 3 months after it was hacked for more than $6 million. The Ronin Bridge is an Ethereum sidechain built for Axie Infinity and it enables users to transfer assets between the sidechain and the Ethereum mainnet. On March 29th, 253,000 Ether and 25.5 million USD coins was drained from the bridge after hackers managed to gain access to private validator keys. The hack was worth more than 620 million at the time. According to the announcement from the Sky Mavis team on Tuesday, the Ronin Bridge is back online. After three audits, a new design and full compensation of user stolen assets. In total, Sky Mavis has reimbursed 117 Ethers and 25.5 million USDC by providing the ETH liquidity back to users wrapped ETH on the Ronin network. The remaining 56,000 of the total stolen ETH belongs to the Axie DAO treasury will remain uncollateralized as Sky Mavis works with law enforcement to recover the funds. That's some great news from the developer of Axie Infinity and we hope the game will continue to survive and thrive during this difficult and bearish market period. Moving on to the second news, Cryptoise, an NFT-based startup, announced it has raised 23 million in Series A funding round, led by A16Z with the participation of other companies and firms including Mattel, Dapper Labs, Dropper & Associates, Accrue Capital, Funfun, Animoca Brands, and Sound Ventures. The company seeks to mix NFTs with the world of gaming and virtual toys in which it will implement play to earn features and issue its own tokens. The company will use these funds to further develop its own platform, the Cryptoyverse, which aims to entice a younger crowd to engage with NFTs and play to earn services on top of the Flow blockchain. The same tech used by Double Labs to deploy its well-known NBA Top Shot app. The company also announced that it would pursue alternative activities, including gaming activities where users can win NFTs to get onto the platform. For monetization, the platform is planning to issue a pair of tokens, Token and Binary Dust. Cryptoys recently entered a partnership with Mattel to bring some of the classic toy lines of the company into its world. They will be sold as avatars to be used in the Cryptoverse. Now that's a new and interesting concept that we don't usually see every day and it's awesome that it successfully raised huge funds from one of the major investors in the crypto industry. Hopefully, the project will be a great success and help us move a step closer to a fully decentralized world. Next, we have some major rumors going around regarding a huge title in the traditional gaming industry being involved in the crypto scene. A leak has reportedly claimed that Grand Theft Auto 6, the new GTA game whose official launch date is still unknown, may include Bitcoin-style crypto in its gameplay. Rumors claim that players will be able to own and trade this crypto. It is expected that GTA 6 will integrate Bitcoin into the online reward system as one of the top online games in the gaming industry. This online game is known for simulating modern life in the gaming ecosystem. Now it can reap the benefits of cutting-edge technologies like blockchain technology to be the play to earn game in 2024. The online game can be utilized the potential earnings from the play to earn game with its own online components for online players. The presence of cryptocurrency can be part of a job parody or integrate real Bitcoin into the game as reward tokens. There's no official announcement from the management of GTA 6. Online players have the possibility to receive Bitcoin for completing multiple missions. It seems that Bitcoin has started paving its way through the online gaming industry to provide a more immersive experience to online players. 
Grand Theft Auto is one of the top online games across the world and there are speculations that the 6th edition will integrate cryptocurrency in the nearby future. Cryptocurrency like Bitcoin can enable players to transact with the market available in the online game efficiently and effectively. However, OGT fans and crypto investors need to wait for the official confirmation of whether the presence of Bitcoin as the token will be there or not. It can possibly make GTA the new PlayStation game in the gaming industry. Coming up, we have yet another interesting piece of information on the rising trend of applying blockchain technology to traditional games. This time, it's No Man's Sky's turn, but it also comes with a twist. No Man's Sky community self-invented and implemented a new cryptocurrency, which is called Hubcoin to the game. The cool thing is, it can't be exchanged for real money. The Hubcoin runs on Ethereum testnet Goli and has no real life value, and can't be exchanged for real money. However, the community doesn't mind. In fact, they want it to remain worthless. Hubcoin has no in-game analog. Its growth is fully dependent on players trusting each other on social media to reciprocate a good or service for an agreeable amount. The player community of No Man's Sky calls itself the Galactic Hub and is one of the largest in-game communities. It was created in 2016 and had been growing ever since. They have functions as a real civilization inside the No Man's Sky map and the Hubcon was introduced as a currency of this civilization. However, holding Hubcon is optional. Citizens of the Galactic Hub reacted to the introduction of the Hubcon for two reasons. The environmental cost of minting coins and that they didn't want to turn the game into work. The concerns were shared by both the developer members and the president of the Galactic Hub as well. Everyone agreed that once the real life games were in the picture, everyone would look out for their best benefits and the Galactic Hub civilization would lose its authenticity. Therefore, they all agreed to keep Hubcoin on a testnet and prohibit it from being exchanged for any other currencies that are worth something. It seems pointless to implement a worthless coin into a game, however, the Hubcoin remains very relative due to its utility-based function. Players who reach the No Man's Sky's endgame usually have a very high number of game coins. Since they can duplicate anything at that point in the game, players don't know where to spend their cash. At the same time, the game allows endgame players to build a base and customize it the way they want. The Hubcoin plays a vital role in creating a bridge between players who don't have the time or resources to build customized base and endgame players who can get as creative as they want with the architecture. And finally, ending this week's weekly update, we deliver to you the news about potential games that are released this week. Another new game is coming to the Epic Games Store, and this time, it's Blanco's Block Party by Mythical Games. Blanco's Block Party is designed for Mac with already 1 million reported users. The game will now be listed on the Epic Games Store, which has almost 200 million active users. Blanco's Block Party is home to mesmerizing 3D environments, where players can interact with each other and co-create awesome stuff. Additionally, the game leverages blockchain technology as it allows players to purchase digital assets, such as NFTs. This apparel can be worn by their unique avatars in the metaverse. However, we cannot call this the first ever NFT game to be launched on the Epic Game Store, as the exact date is to be announced. Grid, on the other hand, will be the first ever NFT game to be launched on the store. The game was first launched in beta in December 2020, and according to Mythical Games co-founder John Linden, the game that's going on to be launched on the Epic Games Store will be identical to the pre-existing Mac version. As the game enters the new game store, it will exit the early access phase and will likely receive tons of exciting updates thanks to the consortium of gaming experts and developers who have worked with the likes of Oculus, EA and Activision. And that concludes the weekly update of this week. Despite the current depressingly bearish market, the overall game fight scene seems to be still relatively active and resilient towards this downtrend. A lot of gaming projects are still getting massive funds, old mistakes and problems are being compensated and some opportunities are opening up in the future for investors. So please hold your heads up and remain hopeful, for we will get through this crypto winter together.